If you've ever wondered if you could make your own homemade sunscreen, you're not alone. As much as we love a good DIY, especially in the spirit of making things healthier, sunscreen is something we should leave to the experts. Let's take a look at one of these sunscreen recipes. Your sunscreen is giving you cancer, not the sun. I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy DIY sunscreen that's non-toxic and safe for you and your kids. We certainly agree that some common sunscreens can contain ingredients that can be harmful. With that being said, consistent use of a sunscreen formulated to provide broad spectrum sun protection is still going to be your best bet against the sun's UV rays. You control what skin benefits you want. You control the SPF. So much cheaper. Making your own sunscreen may seem like a cheaper option, especially with the rising prices of just about everything, but no amount of savings is worth the peace of mind in knowing that you have an effective sunscreen. It has literally been proven over and over and over in so many different studies that sunscreen ingredients are more carcinogenic than the actual sun. Here, she shows octocrylene as a carcinogenic ingredient. We agree that octocrylene should be avoided as it could potentially be contaminated with benzophenone, which is the actual carcinogen at play here. There's also some inconclusive evidence of octocrylene's hormone disrupting potential. That being said, the claim that these ingredients are more carcinogenic than the sun cannot be substantiated. There's crystal clear evidence that excess sun exposure leads to skin cancer. So when we weigh the risks here, you're better off with a sunscreen that's guaranteed to work versus a homemade formula that isn't proven or no sunscreen at all. Plus there are plenty of sunscreens that are octocrylene free, although usually not in spray form like the one in her video. Now let's look at her ingredients. You can use so many different ingredients, but the main thing that is protecting you from the sun is zinc oxide. This is what is actually protecting you from the UVA rays. Yes, zinc oxide can provide strong protection, although it depends on the quality of the formulation and ensuring that the zinc oxide particles are properly dispersed. Most sunscreen formulations with zinc oxide use a homogenizer to ensure proper mixing, which is essential in making zinc oxide an effective ingredient. Unfortunately, we don't see that here or in any of the DIY recipes we've seen. A lot of people add different oils like carrot seed oil, red raspberry seed oil. The SPF impact of these ingredients is likely zero or close to zero. Shea butter has tons of skin benefits. Shea butter is also a natural SPF of like three to four. Shea butter offers very minimal UV protection and should not be relied on for any sun protection. And then sunscreen is one of the most toxic things that you're putting on yourself and your kids. Again, we understand this concern because yes, some sunscreens can contain ingredients that are potentially harmful, but at the end of the day, the risks of using your own homemade sunscreen far outweigh the benefits. For a comprehensive guide on sunscreens and full breakdowns of their ingredients, check out our sunscreen guide at ewg.org sunscreen and remember to wear your sunscreen.